Yeah, g'day guys, Michael here. I uh, I was lucky enough to to get a couple of bits of foam from uh, Andrew Newton. Uh, I'll put his link in the description uh, to, to do, do a, a bit, bit of combat. Uh, Andrew and one, one of the other guys, guys, Chris, down at the field had a had a good idea to get the flight test uh, folding wing and. Standardize on some uh, electronics. So I've got the 1450 kV motor from Turnergy, a uh, recommended 7x45 prop. Just uh, a couple of the other bits and pieces I've had around a couple of Metal Gear servos and a 25 amp speedy. And one of the DIY Turnergy, sorry, DIY Tyrannus receivers from Banggood. Andrew's a bit of a master with the hot wire. So rather than printing plans, cutting them out onto the foam board and folding, folding them up. He's whipped these ones up. So he's, uh, he's done a couple. Uh, I'm about to put these together, so I'll do the highlights. Uh, he's, got a, he's got another build video, which I'll link. And then hopefully there'll be some combat. So before I run the glue, what I might do is to make sure that it stays flat on the bottom. Just run one fiber tape join just to make sure it's all in place using an old prop just to give that a quick mix Might tape that into place. It'll take about five minutes to, to set. I'm going to give them a bit of a, a bevel, 45 degree bevel underneath, tape join on top and reinforce with hot glue. Uh, I might use my 12 volt hot glue just so that I don't burn, burn the back out of it. I've never actually had a lot of success in doing a, a razor blade cut at 45 degrees, but I've got a nice fresh blade. And I'm going to channel Josh Bixler here, and I'm going to hope for the first time Wow I'm pretty happy with that Okay, so with the low temp, that's my battery operated uh, glue gun. I'm going to run some glue along the hinge. So hopefully this won't melt the foam. It's just going to smear that along there. Take off all the excess. And the same on the other side. So the next job is just to cut out a couple of the vertical stabilizers and I've just taken these straight off the flight test plans. So originally I cut the ailerons square but I, I have decided I'm going to bring them up to 40 mil on the edge and just trim them up just so that they come inside the end of the, the winglets. I've got some 3 mil by 1 mil 
carbon flat and uh, I've just got I've just got a few bits and pieces lying around I'm just going to run through this section on both sides top and bottom just to give it a little bit more strength through here all right so two in the top two in the bottom um, varying degrees of destruction of the foam with the hot glue uh, I did switch to um, a thick CA uh, on the underside and it's come up a lot neater next job will be to chop out a little section in the front for the battery So with the battery in, I guess I uh, need to cut some slots here for the servo. So what I've done is just overlaid the the plan there, lined it up, and marked that on the foam on both sides. So I'll cut that out, put the servos in. All right, servos in, and what I'm going to do for the motor mount is I've just got a piece of plywood. And I'm going to thicken that out with a bit of uh, foam board and just glue that straight on. Uh, the motor should then just screw screw up on the on the board. The other thing I'm going to, to add there, which I've pinched this idea off Andrew, is I've got some actually ice cream carton. And I'll, I'll throw in a strap into the battery compartment. And the rest of the ice cream container I've cut up and I'll add over the top. Uh, I might add some tape for colour, just to keep all the electronics uh, a bit protected. And uh, before I mount the servos, I'm going to cover the whole thing now in tape. Okay guys, here's, here's the final product. Uh, run out of GoPro battery, so I thought I'd just do the final uh, final bit on the uh, just on the phone camera. Uh, here it is. It's gone a green and red design, white on top, and black stripes underneath. I hope that helps orientation. Um, you know, I've mounted. I've left the wires uh, on top. I could have put those under under some tape gone with the ice cream container covered in plastic. Uh, I've just got a foam pad in the front loose. I might uh, just tape that down. Um, straps a bit long, but uh, does the job. Uh, Velcro for the receiver, transmitter. Um, sorry, yeah, receiver and ESC. And then I've put some Velcro on the top to. To strap it all down. It's about fifty percent. And running up to a hundred percent. Alright guys, Maiden is coming up.